lovelies welcome back to another video how are you all doing hope you all are doing great as always i want to thank almighty god for another bright and beautiful day over here i have half of my purple onions you can either use the white one or the yellow one you are good to go in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make an effective hair growth shampoo if you are having badness alopecia if you are having breakage you want to minimize shedding and also stimulate healthy hair growth then this shampoo is for you all you have to do is to apply once weekly for effective results over here i have my fresh mint leaf mint leaf is amazing when it comes to stimulating blood flow into our scalp for healthy hair growth then over here i have my rosemary leaves as well this leaf is amazing when it comes to conditioning the air and also give healthy air growth then i will go in with 50 ml of my regular tap water which i'm going to pour into my leaves you can use aloe vera juice you are good to go as well then right now i am going to cover it up like so we are going to blend into a smooth consistency guys this shampoo is amazing as well for kids hair if your kids is having dandruff if you are having lights if your kids hair is not growing then take your time to incorporate this shampoo into your baby's hair as well you see amazing result so after i finish blending look at how it's looking so what i'm going to do next i'm going to open it up like so because we are going to strain the juice out from the pulp of the leaves and of the onions make sure you blend your ingredient into a smooth consistency like so the right now i will go in with my famous cheese cloth i'm going to strain out the pop guys don't apply like so into your hair because you don't want this stuff to stuck on your hair you are going to do more harm than good you can either use your filter to strain it out or you can use your stock anyone you know you have but don't apply without straining out the juice from the pop as you can see me doing so after i strain look at the amount i got from this you can also make egg growth water out of this as well before you apply any shampoo of your choice then over here i will go in with 100 ml of my casting soap you can either use black african soap or you can use any shampoo you have that your hair loves just apply you are good to go so after i added my casting soap i will go in with one tablespoon of my extra virgin olive oil guys when it comes to the oil any one of your choice you are good Good to go castor oil is also good in conditioning and moisturizing the air then i will go in with castor oil one tablespoon as well it helps in thickens darkens stop breaking and minimize and uh, shedding and promote thicker and longer air growth then i will go in with 10 drop of my tea tree essential oil guys you can use any essential oil of your choice you are good to go then right now i'm going to stir everything like so because you want to allow all the mixture everything the soap and the oil to band together so after I, I i stir i will go in with my clean applicator bottle which i'm going to transfer my soap into my applicator bottle at the same time i want to thank you all my friends my family my sweeties my lovelies i want to say thank you all for your constant love and your support your gear is super duper grateful god bless you all one after the other and if you are new here welcome my name is jenny i'm into agro tips like this one you are watching right now if you find this video useful then give you a get a fat huge thumbs up share and leave me your comment down below is free of charge so here's how to make an effective air growth shampoo to treat alopecia badness slow growth minimize shedding conditions your air cleanse your scalp without stripping your natural sebum out of your air if you are having break if you are having badness then this shampoo is for you so over here is my little guest air i put her air in this um, big braid like so i took that our uh, old protective style so right now i will take out the braid i will start with the shampoo look at how it's looking one thing i love about this shampoo if you allow it to sit for another day it's going to thicken up as well that's why i love this shampoo 
can put a lot. So what I love to do and what I will urge you all to do, focus firstly on your scalp. Because if your scalp is clean, trust me, your hair will grow healthy from your scalp. Because this is scalp in a shampoo, okay? So make sure you take your time to focus on your scalp where before you now work it down to the rest of your hair. And when you apply on your scalp and your hair, guys, don't forget to do a scalp massage because you want this shampoo to penetrate faster into your scalp to allow the shampoo to be effective you have to make sure you allow it to absorb by doing scalp massage right now i'm doing some finger detangling on my little guest and she is just three years old and this shampoo is good for her hair whenever her hair feels so dry brittle her hair is kind of dirty that i want to treat her scalp as well i incorporate this shampoo into her hair and when you are applying guys be generous with this shampoo okay if you are baby hair is not growing you want a thicker hair for your baby you want to minimize shedding and breakage if they are having scalp irritation if they are having lights on their hair if they are also having dandruff guys incorporate this shampoo into their hair and this shampoo has a lot of sleep which enables you to do some finger detangling without ripping out your baby's hair so after I apply into that section I'm going to braid that place out of the way this method is amazing because it allows the shampoo to go into every part of our hair without stripping our hair. Working on your baby's hair or your hair in section is a lifesaver because it minimizes the amount of breakage and shedding you are going to experience when you work in section. So me, I love to work on her hair in section because, because she has a lot of hair. So working in section is a must try, okay? Because it's so good when it comes to minimizing shedding and breakage. Right now, I'm into a crown section of uh, as you guys see, I love to massage our uh, hair because massaging your baby's hair or your hair it promotes healthy and longer hair growth. Right now, I'm going to massage that place, walk the shampoo through other place as you guys see. And guys, make sure you don't forget the scalp is extremely fundamental. Now, I love to work on a hairline for the last because she loves to always strip her hair, like drag her hair. I don't know why. Whenever she's kind of feeling sleepy, she just strip her hairline. I don't know why, <laughs> why it's like that. So I love to always give her hairline some good TLC. If your baby is like my baby that loves to always pull her airline pull her air whenever she's feeling sleepy guys make sure you you you, you minimize the kind of extra you feel on her and also take your time to work on her airline it's extremely important my little girl she loves to always pull her air she when she's angry she will pull her air when she's feeling sleepy especially she will just be pulling her air be angry so always make sure you work on your baby's airline and the tip of your air as well so right now i'm just focusing the air uh, the shampoo into her hairline like so and working it down to her hair this shampoo is also good in treating your hairline if you want a thicker hairline when you apply the shampoo into your hairline make sure you massage it really really well it's going to thicken your hair stop your hairline for falling and for breakage guys see right now i'm also focusing on the tip of her hair. Don't treat your scalp and your hair and ignore your, your the tip of your hair because the tip of your hair is the oldest part and you want to give that place as well some good TLC. So right now, as you can see, I'm doing some finger detangling on her hair. So after I chew with that session, I'm going to braid that place out of the way that we are going to proceed. So lovelies, right now I'm done with the old of her hair, so I'm just doing some thorough scalp massage. As you can see, I'm massaging her scalp 
really really well by so doing the shampoo is going to be super super effective on our hair and also on our scalp so i just put our hair in this bond like so and lastly i will see go in with some extra shampoo into our hairline guys if your baby hairline is not growing then take your time and focus the shampoo into your hairline as you can see me doing and also massage that place like really really well i want our hairline to be extra extremely thick that i put in it all the extra tlc so right now i'm going to cover our air up allow it to sit for one hour guys i repeat one hour then after one hour i'm going to rinse it out with lukewarm water then i'm going to condition our air then we are good to go so lovelies with this we come to the end of today's video hope you find it useful so thank you all for watching until i will see you all in the next one remain blessed and you know what peace bye bye i love you all god bless you all ciao ciao